Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we're making McDonald's knockoff filet fish sandwich. This is way better than the McDonald's version, and I'm gonna tell you a fun little story about how it got invented, and here's a hint, it has to do with Jesus. Okay, to start out, duh, we're gonna use some fish. I'm using tilapia. Try to get like as big of a filet as you can. Anything that's sort of firm will do well, like halibut or cod. And we're just gonna try to cut it into square-ish shapes so that it looks a little bit like McDonald's, even though it's gonna taste way better. So for this little interesting shaped thing here, it's already kind of starting to split there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it down the middle and then trim off like the little pointy end bits. Just to kind of try to square it off a little bit. And we can still like, you know, cook these and eat them a little like fish nibbles or something, but um, they won't go on our sandwich because they're not perfect. So then these ones I'll cut in half. These ones, oh my God, my mom would be so ashamed of my language. Sorry, mom, bad grammar. So there, they're not exactly square, but they're rectangular, and that's a type of square, guys. So and then I'm gonna just put them in a little bowl here. All the little pieces. Some of them are maybe too tiny. And then squeeze some lemon juice over. Awesome. So that's just gonna like brighten up the flavor a little bit. We're just gonna let this marinate in the lemon juice for about 10 minutes. In that time, we can make our McDonald's ripoff tartar sauce. Just wanna make sure all the little fishies get covered. If you don't have lemon, you could use uh, a little bit of like white wine vinegar or something, or some tarragon vinegar. Would make it a fancy French filet of fish, filet of French. That would be something else entirely. Okay, I'm gonna get set up and we'll make our tartar sauce while we wait on this marinade. Obviously, tartar sauce starts with a mayonnaise base. Now, if you would like a more fancy type of tartar sauce, I have a recipe for one with parsley and capers and garlic and all this other shit on my website if you wanna do that. But this is what I think is closest to the McDonald's tartar sauce, which really just kind of tastes like pickles. So I just add a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of white pepper. This is my own fancy touch. I'm sure it's not in the real thing, but it tastes really good. And then, to make it look McDonald's-y, this is just some diced up like hamburger dill slices. Just mince them up really tiny and added a little bit of that pickle juice in there too. So dump that in, just dump it on in there. And then some super minced up white onion as well. And just like the tinier you can chop it, the better. I'm a magician with a knife. You could use a food processor if you have bad skills. And we just mix it up. There's salt on my finger. Better give it to the devil. Oh, that reminds me. So the story of the filet of fish it was this guy in Ohio that had a franchise when McDonald's first started franchising, and he wasn't making any money during Lent because his area was like 89% Catholic or something. So he like called up Ronald McDonald himself, and he was like, look, Don, Sorry, I mean, Ron, I'm not making any money over here in Ohio. I need to make a fish sandwich stat before I go broke. And Ron McDonald was like, I don't think so, buddy. Then he tasted it and he was like, wow, this is the best sandwich ever. Not better than my hamburgers, but you have my permission to put it on your menu. And it saved his restaurant and then it went nationwide like the next year. So there you go. It's time to bread the donuts. I mean the fish, I mean the donuts. Okay, so I drained the lemon juice off of the fish fillets and now I'm gonna add some milk because milk is a wholesome thing and it does your body good. Just enough to cover. Don't need to waste it. I'll drink that later. Some white Russians. Okay, so just get them all in there. They're hanging out, it's fine. And then for the breading part, what I've done is I've mashed up some oyster crackers here until they're very, very fine. These are oyster crackers. They taste like saltines, but they look like oysters. I don't really know why they're called that, but that's a good enough reason, I think. Uh, I like to use these when I'm breading stuff instead of saltines because one, they're cheaper than saltines by like a few cents, but I'm a frugal biatch. 
and also they're already in tiny pieces so they break up faster. So all I did was put some of them into this little zip top baggie and crush them up until they're fairly fine. Most of them are powderish. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of plain dry breadcrumbs to that too. If you wanted to just use breadcrumbs, that's fine. Uh, but I felt like the crackers kind of gives it a better coating. So just mix that together. And this, the crackers already have salt on them, so we don't need to add any salt to this. It's, it's, enough, it's enough salt with just what's on the crackers. So now we're just gonna do the standard milk, crackers, milk, crackers plate. Alright, fish fingers. Okay, once they're coated, you want to put them in the fridge for at least 10 minutes up to two or three hours. She can make these ahead of time a little bit. Uh, that's going to help that coating adhere so that when we fry it, it doesn't just like fall off into the frying oil ether. So I'll see you back in 10 minutes. To fry the fish, I've got just under about a half inch of peanut oil here. You can use canola oil, uh, vegetable oil, whatever, you know, stuff like that. And I've got it heated up to about 350. If you don't have a thermometer, you can just throw in a little red crumb like this, just a crumb. And it's all like, psh, now that's not peeing, that's sizzling sound. And we'll put our fillets in. And you remember when I, um, cut them up, I ended up with two that were a little bit thicker and two that were a little bit thinner. So the thicker ones obviously are gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So, I don't know, it's kinda easier sometimes just to do them together, do the thicker ones together and then the thinner ones. But basically we're just gonna cook these for about a minute on the first side. Um, they'll be nice and golden brown. Flip them over, do another two minutes or so on the second side until that's golden brown and by then the inside should be perfectly cooked and beautiful and flaky and moist like a fish sandwich. There we go. So just check it. The second side usually browns slower than the first. So see, it's still pretty pale. So I'll let it go, but maybe another minute or so. If you wanted to make these lower fat, you can also totally bake them. Just do the breading, uh, spray it with a little bit of, you know, spray oil or something and bake it on like a tray with a rack like this. I'm gonna use this for draining, but you can just bake it on here at 450 for about 15 minutes. It's not gonna get like as delectably golden brown as these, but it will be crispy and cooked and it'll be much healthier than this or a McDonald's filet of fish. So, I forgot that she's taking a note myself, but I just need to stand up straighter. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Um, so, like I said, just drain it on a little rack over here. And I'll go ahead and fry my other fish. Uh, while those are cooling, we'll microwave a couple little hamburger buns to soften them up and get them nice and squishy like the ones at McDonald's. Okay. Okay, we're ready to have fish sandwiches, fish sandwiches, fish sandwiches. I've got a little bun here. Like I said, I just stick it in the microwave for literally 10 seconds and it gets nice and pliable and warm. I'm gonna top it with some American cheese. Now at McDonald's, they're skimpy little bastards and they only give you half a slice of cheese. What the hell's American about that? So we're gonna go ahead and do a whole slice. Thank you very much. And then we'll top it with a little fish patty. Let's see, this one looks good. And a big, big hefty blob of your tartar sauce. They do like this much there. I know, because I just ate one the other day. And then there you go. There's a gorgeous filet of fish sandwich for you. Then of course you would put the top on and eat it. If you like this recipe, also check out my Chick-fil-A knockoff if you like fried meat sandwiches. And if you don't wanna watch that one, then you can watch my chicken fried steak video because I do the same, a very similar cracker crust and you can just see how gorgeous it is. Delicious, fried meats for the win, right people? Okay, give it a taste. God, I'm stoked. Mmm. That's what's supposed to happen, that little ploop. Mm-hmm. Shit, that is good. Do I have something on my face? I do. It's 
not just, okay. All right, there you go, homemade filet of fish way better than McDonald's. I hope you try this, I hope you love it. Please leave a comment below and visit me at highlycooking.com for printable recipes. See you guys later, thanks for watching, bye bye. I'm gonna try to fit this whole thing in my mouth. That's not gonna happen, sorry.